bunch of y'all. Just whittling it down, huh? Christmas, y'all just, y'all got better things to do, huh? Or they do. Ready to go. Y'all are here. We are here, that's right. What, what does Stanford do so well uh, defensively? Well, they're really sound in everything they do. You know, uh, they're, they're multiple in their fronts. Uh, they do, uh, they've got uh, guys that understand their system. Uh, they don't, uh, they haven't given up many deep balls and they've played the run very, very well all year. You know, so they're, they're, uh, they do a heck of a job. Do they re rely on blitzing a lot or is that something they don't? No, not a, not a whole, they don't do a whole lot of blitzing. Uh, you know, I can tell you the, you know, the uh, defensive tackle, the uh, Thomas kid is, uh, is pretty special. I think he's made some All-American lists, and he makes a lot of plays, and they've got a couple outside linebackers that makes a, make a lot of plays for him. So, you know, they uh, base out of a 3-4, but they get to a four down front also in, in the same, without uh, changing personnel. Do you have a relationship with David Shaw or anybody with staff? You know, I met David last year for the first time. It was the first time I ever met him. I met him in February and, uh, you know, met him and his wife and uh, spent, you know, I was out there for a week and, and uh, I mean, they're really nice people. I mean, and he's done a, you know, fabulous job over there at Stanford. Any idea, Coach, what, what it might have been that, that kept Bryce Love from hanging around town? Uh, you'd have to talk to Bryce, you know. I mean, I, I can tell you it came down to us and, and, uh, and them and, and he uh, chose to go there, you know, so it's a small world, you know, we end up playing them and he'll be the starting running back and, uh, you know, so it'll be, uh, it'll be a lot of fun. I'm sure it'll be fun. He's got to know this is uh, members family well, got, you know, they're great people and really enjoyed uh, that whole recruiting process with him. Is the guy that you've seen on tape the same, was that what you envisioned from him when you oh, were yeah. recruiting he's got, he's got great speed and great quickness. He can make you miss. He's, uh, you know, he's bigger than he was when he was in high school. Uh, and he's, uh, you know, he's become more of a complete player. You know, y'all ended up having great success after that season. Would you like to think that had you had a shot with him after having that success, you get those kind of guys? I mean, I, I don't, I don't, I don't ever really. I, if if guys make their decisions based on one season and, or a game or some of you know, I mean, different things. Uh, you know, I, I don't think that's why he made his decision. I really don't. I mean. Uh, you, you hopefully guys make good educated decisions. They don't make a decision because of what color you wear, or, you know, because uh, they met a nice girl at, on campus when they were on the, on camp. I mean, <laughs> you know, hopefully there's more thought put into it than that. And I would imagine with him that it, there, there was a whole lot of thought put into it. With the exam break, do you find that it's a good thing for the players to kind of have a little bit of a break from football and then come back reinvigorated? Or is there a little bit of, of rust involved? Well, I, I think I don't think there's any way you can't. I mean, you have to do it that way. They they've got to have a break during finals. I mean, they're they're uh, you know they're loaded up with finals, and you're trying to get all that in for, and basically in one week for them. Uh, I think it's the one thing that we do do is we still get some lifts and some runs with them, uh, a couple that week, and it's on their time. I mean, because I think they need that academically, just to, to you know to clear their minds and and uh, to relieve some of that stress. And so, but then we get going back. It takes a couple of days for them to get going back. And but after that, it's uh, I mean, we've had great practices this week. Do you consider the bowl game a chance to kind of showcase your program to the nation? You haven't seen Carolina play. I think anytime you're on national TV or you know, and uh, you you're, you're always showcasing your showcasing your program. And now you're playing a team from the West Coast that has a, a great tradition and, and is very well respected. So I think that uh, you know, I think that I think that's a great situation for us. What yep. else do you take away from this whole month preparing for the bowl, other than winning the the games? Anything else you try to get out of them? Oh yeah, we process? try to we try to get as many reps with our young guys as possible. So. You know, you're trying to steal reps from for spring practice is what you're doing with your with your guys that are going to be uh, playing for you next year and the guys that may be redshirted. You're trying to see where they are here at the end of the season, so that's uh, that's really important at this time of year. You know, and we've done that, and so we, we got some really good reps with those guys. And you know, this week it's been all Stanford, so we haven't had time to. Uh, those guys are back on the scout teams now. School got another NOA last week. Do you have a comment on the? Uh, there's really continue. nothing I can say. I'm aware, uh, you know, Bubba talked to me and told me that uh, would be coming out. And I mean, this thing's been going since I was here, you know, uh, five years ago. So for me, it's just, uh, you know, let's just get it done sometime, you know. Do you, do you almost become immune to it? Yeah, to some that's, a, that's a great way to put it. It really is. Uh, TJ Logan, everybody's seen what he can do on the field. He's a versatile guy. Who, who, who is he off the field? He's a guy that's got a big smile on his face all the time, happy-go-lucky. Uh, you know, he's uh, a lot of fun to be around. I mean, his teammates love him. He's a great teammate. I mean, he comes in here and he's just, all he wants to do is for us to win. 
uh, you know, whether he touches the ball or he doesn't, he's always uh, in a great mood, and he's uh, he's been a lot of fun to coach. I can tell you. How does he? How, ahead, how does he ahead. kind of fit in at the at the next level? Do you think as a hybrid? I've heard he's, he might be a slot kind of guy at the next level. Uh, I think he'll be a guy kind of like what they do with Geo. You know, uh, they they use Geo very smartly up there as far as. Uh, uh, you know, he's he's not an every down back. He's not the pound it between the tackles back all the time, even though he can. But they're smart with him. They move him to the slot. They, they throw the ball to him out of the backfield, do a lot of things with him. You know, he's touching the ball, I guess, 16 to 18 times a game in the NFL, and which has uh, enabled him to get to his second contract, you know, which is not many guys get to do that at that position. You get an emotional thing about the last round with these seniors? Yeah, I do. I do. I, I'm going to miss all these guys. You know, it's it's just something every year that you go through as a, as a football coach that you got a group of guys that have been with you for, for you know, you raised them from the very beginning, and now they're going to be moving on. And, and you're excited for them. You know, uh, you're excited because you feel like, okay, they're ready. They're ready for the world, and you hope that you've prepared them and, and done a good job getting them for ready for life after football. And that's really, you know, that's really what it's all about. I mean, and some of them will continue to play ball, but it's still about if we prepared them for life after football. You know, if we put them in a position where they're going to be able to be successful in life. And, you know, I feel good about this group, and, and uh, they've done a tremendous, you know, I mean, I just don't want to say it. They've just, they've, they've given so much to this program and, and helping turn the, uh, turn the culture here and change the culture. Uh, I can't say enough good things about this group.